Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Matlock, the entrepreneur. Last week I used the setup you see here and people seem to like it. A lot of people said they liked it better than the green screen, so if you liked the green screen better, let me know in the comments because I'm thinking I might change to this setup. Moving on, today is March 20th and as I'm sure we all know, spring has arrived. The cold was starting to bother me anyway. Since it's that time of year, we should spring into action and do something special. And why would we talk about spring allergies, spring cleaning, or spring break? when we could just observe a really obscure holiday. That holiday being Alien Abduction Day, or AD. I think that's what people scream when they run away from aliens. On this day, people who are either wishing or expecting to be abducted by aliens watch the skies closely, looking for them. And even though I do not believe in aliens, I'm going to do it anyway. Let's go. 30 minutes of sky watching later. That was really disappointing. Of course, I couldn't expect much more given the fact that I'm pretty sure that aliens don't exist. But if they did exist, you'd have to be a lot more strategic than I was in order to actually get abducted by them. So here are top five ways to get abducted by an alien. Number one, live in a really deserted area like a desert. First thing you should know about aliens, they're smart. When they try to abduct you, they will do so when no one else is in the vicinity to see it. So if you live in a place where there are less people, you're more likely to be abducted by an alien. Number two, be like everyone else. I know this sounds weird, but bear with me. Aliens abduct people to run experiments on them, probably to find out our weakness or something. The aliens won't abduct you unless you are the greatest common denominator in terms of everything to do with the human race. So bottom line, if you want to be accepted, conform! This has been Life Lessons with Ryan. What was that? Sorry, I spaced out there for a second. Number three, become the town joke. As I said, aliens are smart. You know how in the movies they always abduct the person who seems like the craziest person in the town? That's on purpose. If you want to get abducted by an alien, you have to have no reliability with anyone that you know. I mean, because if the aliens think that anyone will actually believe you when you tell them you got abducted by aliens, then they're gonna move on to the next candidate. Number four, have a job with a really long commute. Let me break this down for you. Driving a long time to and from work increases the chance of your car breaking down on the way home from work at night in the middle of the highway. Breaking down on your way home at night in the middle of the highway increases your chances of having to walk miles at night. Having to walk for miles at night increases your chances of getting abducted by an alien while doing so. It's logic! Number five, get abducted by aliens. You've done all you can do. You cannot have a higher chance of being abducted by an alien now. And sure, while you may not be unique because you're being like everyone else, you may not have friends who live in a really deserted area, and you have to drive for a really long time in order to get to work, at least you're gonna get abducted by an alien. I hope it's a wonderful experience that accomplishes whatever it is you're trying to accomplish I don't know what that would be there's like five things that you could probably accomplish by getting abducted by an alien one killed two eaten three uh, experimented on four experimented on eaten and killed yeah so have fun being experimented on and then left behind or eaten slash killed I hear the experience is to die for. So stay classy, everyone, and don't get abducted by aliens. I would personally like to thank Kevin McCreary and Explosive Beast for promoting my channel this past week. Kevin McCreary shared my last video, Open an Umbrella Inside Day, on Twitter and I believe also Google Plus. That was awesome. It bumped me with 10 subscribers. Hello, new subscribers. And Explosive Yeast mentioned me in a video and it just made me so happy to see that. So check out both of their channels because I actually enjoy both of their videos. And you know what? I'll throw another two YouTubers out there. Go subscribe to Pundidly and Adler. Those guys are fun too. Can you guys even see me anymore? Uh, okay. Okay. Goodbye.